Bad days have been here, the sun is out, it's really warm, and I'm dressed in my cool dude shark shirt. Got to represent the sharks because today we're in Harajuku, one of my favorite places in the whole wide world, and I have to try and be good and stick to a budget. Ha. 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 So first we're going to check out Wego, and then we're going to go to Shikadori, and I'm going to be brave and hopefully go and visit one of the Lolita brands, even though I don't dress in Lolita because I love the fashion. 80s and 90s fashion is so popular in Harajuku at the moment. It's a really dangerous place for me to be. There were rust trolls. There is even vintage Mickey Mini art from the 90s. And do not forget the immense amount of 90s Barbies in box they have in this area. There's also amazingly adorable bags. Right here in Wego, I fell in love with this little dinosaur guy with his wiggly arms and legs. The vintage clothing section in Wego is just on another level. This is all vintage 90s Disney. They also had incredible shirts. Now, mostly shirts are about $45 Australian, so I didn't pick up a lot. But I liked the tropical-themed Mickey one. And also this adorable, what a mum, Snoopy shirt. It's really hard to resist buying all these guys. And every single one of these is vintage from the 80s or 90s. We've made it to Takeshita Street. This is where all those fashionable shops you see, like WC and WeGo and all that are all down this area. And Listen Flavor is also down here. Uh, and there's a cat cafe just there. See the cat cafe? Oh, whoa. Yeah. So we're going to go shopping and have a nice time. And it's really quiet today. On Golden Week, you couldn't even get down the street for 45 minutes. But it's totally fine today. So we can peruse and I can blow all our money on various fashionable items. Are you excited for me to blow our money? We then visited Thank You Mart, which has so many licensed goods for only 390 yen. They had Gumball, Flintstones, all the Hanna-Barbera cartoons, and these amazing 90s stickers. Holy moly, it was so hard to resist these guys. I love the spaceships, and I love the squiggly confetti ones. I was then super excited to visit the Osamatsu-san Crepe Cafe. I can't eat crepes because they aren't vegan, but Liam did take one for the team and got these amazing strawberry cheesecake crepes. And we sat there and watched some Osumatsu cartoons and I had such a lovely time. We then visited Spins. This is a new and used clothing store. The interior of this store is incredible. And it started off with having VHS and those TV VHS combos, which I want so bad. I've never found one here in Australia. That was just for decoration. However, I think the VHS were for sale. But look at these adorable outfits using vintage Disney shirts, old school 80s Harry High pants. Unbelievable. So hard not to purchase it. And these are just piles and piles of cartoon character vintage shirts. Because it's by one of my favorite designers over here, Sebastian Masuda. He's a dude that started at 60 Cent Doki Doki, does the Fly Monster Cafe. It's really inspirational to me, and I like his use of vintage toys and other bright, colorful colors in his work. So, this is all vintage toys, all Lego, all classic toys. Here. And that is a very loud trolling. Once you finish on Takeshita Street, head to Harajuku Street because this is where the best shopping is. We visited Secret Base, which is a custom toy store slash tattoo studio. Absolutely love the SpongeBob pieces and this gizmo one. I wanted it so much, about 150 Australian dollars for that guy. We then visited Pinnap, which is, believe it or not, 90s hip hop themed. The store clerks in this store are absolutely adorable. I love everything about this store. I can't afford anything in this store unless I saved all my pennies. But how good is this tiny little TLC shirt? So adorable. Look at those My Pet Monsters. And now to my favorite toy store in Japan, Spiral Toys. Check them out on Instagram. These guys are two floors of everything you would possibly want toy-wise. I was so excited to visit. They had vintage bed sheets, vintage McDonald's, which you guys know I absolutely love. This is an entire wall just filled with Barbie accessories still on card. Like I said, 90s Barbies are really in fashion at the moment due to a model named Peko, who I'm absolutely obsessed with. We have a color change necklace. 
a wild bunch. Look at that beautiful hair. Lamb chop. Itsy bitsy bears. Oh my goodness. And this shelf I died at. Popples, Care Bears. So many 80s plush. It's so adorable. I wanted every single thing here. But I only purchased one little fellow, which I'll show you in a little while. And vintage strawberry shortcake and Smurfs. Oh my goodness, Spiral Toys is such a heaven and it's set up so wonderfully. Definitely visit it once you're in Harajuku Street. So we're all done in Harajuku. My final place of visiting was Spiral Toys, which is one of my all-time favorite toy stores. It has lots of McDonald's, lots of 80s, lots of 90s. We picked up a bunch of stuff for my friend Bjorn, which is all goosebumps. Do you want to see that? I guess I want to see that. So we've got this compass. This finger thing. Oh, it's another compass. There's a bookmark. And the little hamster guy that he keeps telling me the name of and then I forget the name of it. Sorry Bjorn. But um we got them for him. And then finally to finish off this magical day in Arizona, I found a snog! I've never gotten a snog before. It was about 20 Australian dollars. It was so cheap. I'm so happy. It's from 1983 by a now it's mine. I finally own a snork. It was my favorite. This is my favorite morning cartoon snorks. And I always wanted to do my hair like a snork and put it up in a ponytail. I had a magical day in Harajuku. Did you have a good time eating crepes really and time. shopping? Uh, and now we're gonna head home and have a drink and relax. Thanks for coming to Harajuku with us. We hope you had fun. Bye. Bye.